Hello everyone, it's Ethan from the Orlando Tours. Today is Thursday, May 18th. We just came from um, Aquatica earlier today. They opened a brand new kids ride. And then we went to SeaWorld because they finally reopened Mako. And now we're here at Universal Orlando. And um, yeah, we got here a little later than expected because the new pipeline ride at SeaWorld also was delayed for like an hour. But we're here, we made it to Universal. We got a lot of new updates to cover, some news from yesterday about some new attractions. We got some news uh, yesterday and today actually, so lots of stuff to cover. And yeah, we're gonna head in, so let's go in. Last Tuesday, the closing day of Poseidon's Fury, we did see these brand new cars that were added over here in City Walk. It's for the Fast and the Furious. They're trying to promote the new movie. It's pretty cool. Today we're going to be starting at uh, Studios. Um, Studios closes at 7. Right now it's about uh, 5.30 something. And the other park, Islands, closes at 8. So um, yeah, like I said, we haven't been here since last Tuesday, the closing day of Poseidon's Fury. And then after that, we left early to go ride Pipeline at SeaWorld for my first ever like ride on it. So that was really fun. But now we're back finally, and we're gonna go cover a lot of updates. It's been, it feels like a while since I've been here, but um, hopefully the parks are starting to be a little empty. I mean, it's almost closing today, so um, at least like we're like an hour and a half before the park closes. So hopefully, a lot of people start heading out. But I don't think it's busy anyway, so we're gonna head in. Last time we were here, the uh, right side turnstiles were under construction walls as they were refurbishing them. Now the left side of the, the turnstiles are under construction walls. It looks like we still have some over here by guest services. My guess is that they're uh, replacing the uh, refurbishment, the, uh, the, the pavement on the floor. They've been doing that a lot of space around the park. This path has reopened. It was previously covered in construction walls. It looks like the construction walls do kind of continue farther back over here. Um, but guest services is not blocked off. You can still visit guest services if need be. But now we're going to pick ourselves up a couple maps because now they don't have Poseidon's Fury on it anymore. A lot of our coverage has to do with the Minion stuff from yesterday's announcement, but we're going to cover that later. We're going to start this way around the park and we have an announcement from today we want to show you guys. It's a little hard to hear me. That's because it's very windy out today. But yeah, right now we're just heading down Hollywood. Before we show you guys our first update, I want to show you guys some Horror Nights merchandise. There's no more preview merchandise sign out here from the uh, first Horror Nights announcement we had. Back when they announced the first Horror Nights tickets this year, they had some merchandise here. They still have it in the store. And now the centerpiece is replaced with Chucky merchandise. But they just don't have the sign outside. We should be getting another Horror Nights announcement very soon. Now one of our main updates that I want to cover today is the new Jurassic Park Tribute Store. This is going to open officially on May 26th. Um, looks pretty neat. It's uh, the 30th anniversary of Jurassic Park. And this tribute store is going to be featuring the making, like behind the scenes of Jurassic Park films. So this is going to be really cool. This is the same location of the new tribute store where we just had our Mardi Gras tribute store recently. And um, I really like this sign off front. It looks really cool. And I can't wait to see what they do with it inside. We can uh, reach you some information now today from the official press release. So both Universal Studios Hollywood in California and the one here that we're at right now are going to be uh, celebrating this 30th anniversary. Um, but yeah, it's going to be really cool. Um, so of course we have the Tribute Store here. Um, we, and we have Velocicoaster and River Adventure. We have the whole land in the other park so you can celebrate there by visiting the attractions. But we have the uh, Tribute Store opening on May 26th. And um, they have a lot of uh, themed rooms in here that shows like a lot of the production stuff, like behind the scenes and some of the sets from the original films. It's gonna show a lot of blueprints and stuff, and uh, photo ops, and really cool merchandise as well. And um, there's gonna be exclusive menu items at a lot of the restaurants in the other park. And of course, we're gonna have a Jurassic Park film screenings in City Walk at the theaters. And then the park in California is gonna be, um, of course, they have a Jurassic World ride over there. And they have new merchandise that they're going to be getting over there and some Jurassic themed food and beverage options. 
and of course they can see the film in their theaters as well but I cannot wait to go experience this trivia store later this month. Last time we were here we checked out the new dance show they have in front of Mel's uh, drive-in called Drive-In and Dance. It's a really cool show uh, and I feel like it really builds the energy in the streets in the park and it's got a lot of guest involvement and of course we still have a DJ booth up for uh, Grad Venture. We recently had Grad Bash last month and we have a uh, school still visiting for Grad Venture and this usually happens on the weekends so like Friday, Saturdays maybe Sundays but the parks close early but we don't have that going on tonight even though it's just a little over a week it feels like forever since the last time we've been here and another reason you should definitely check out that last Universal update video that we did is because um, Kid Zone is getting a lot of construction done the coaster is still up um, just a lot of land clearing going on and we did cover that so over here we have a uh, construction wall and um, this is for the uh, pavement refurbishment they're doing in front of the Simpsons attraction. Um, this has been going on for a while now. But um, as you can see, they recently redid the pavement right in here in front of the uh, actual ride. And um, yeah, it looks really nice. I can't wait to see what actually is going to be uncovered behind this wall. It looks like we have a little dinosaur here. It's like the, the website's crash that runs the, the thing, the wait time. And now... We're almost at Men in Black. We're gonna see if we can max out today. Yeah, I love doing Men in Black. And I love maxing out on it too. Just got off. Um, kind of stinks because single riders are not being used today. So we only got one ride because the line kind of took a while. We're gonna head around the rest of the park now. Usually I do it multiple times, but not today. We outside of Fast and Furious, we have a, a bike here as part of the promotional for Fast and Furious X, the new movie. And we also have this car outside. This is all promotion for the new Fast and Furious movie coming out, Fast 10. I have no clue if these are screen used or not, but they look pretty neat. The storms are starting to roll in, and we have this platform for the old water show. It looks like the uh, platforms are starting to get taken down. So Fast and the Furious does have a Horror Nights house starting to be constructed. I'm not going to go check it out right now because the park's about to close. So we're going to head over to Island soon, and on the way there we're going to check out the Minion stuff for the cafe. Got three minutes until the park closes. Usually we get a nice mummy ride, but uh, Transformers is right here and we're trying to make it in the line. So we're gonna hop on Transformers right before this park closes. And yeah, there's lightning going on over there and we're gonna hop on the ride. Heading into the queue. It's been a while since we've done this. Colossally mismatched against our Decepticon enemy. The Decons hold it on our side. That would be our man, Shivak. You need to scramble Evac immediately, General, to Evac the officer. Now hold on there, Stalwart. You are out of line. My orders are to protect the Allspar and secure and fortify the location here at Nest. Good thought to respect you all this secure and fortified? Transformers, not a long wait at all. Queue was empty. I don't know if that's rain in the lagoon. It's definitely windy, but we're gonna head towards the front and show you guys some Minions uh, Cafe construction. Before I show you guys the um, cafe, we're gonna show you guys some of the uh, progress they're doing here on the facade in the back. These food stands have been open for quite a bit now. They're um, are, they're pretty well themed. And right over here was the old trivia store location. This is now used for mummy extended queuing. There's not much anything else new going on in this part of the park. Um, we usually do mummy, not today though. But over here, this is what I'm trying to show you guys. The backdrop is starting to get refurbished. We have a new piece going in on the side here. And it looks really nice. The left side's all finished up. The right side's also finished. 
it's just right here in the center that's still getting some work and it looks beautiful the new the new piece that they've installed looks really good so I can't wait to see this fully completed so over here we have new scrims um, there's like a little apartment type windows that they're putting in as part of the theming this is gonna be the entrance of the cafe we're also about to get some uh, signage going in on the sides there um, the back of the wall of the uh, Transformers has been painted. We're gonna get an Illumination logo. And this snack stand's closed for refurbishment. We now have minions on the snack stand construction wall. This is probably gonna be the banana flavored popcorn stand. They had a huge press announcement about this whole area just yesterday. They do like minion money. Maybe. So over here we have the words cafe kind of covered up and they don't have uh, theming put in yet. And under the awning it's yellow. So we already got coloration going on. We have some facade shaping going on. So this is probably gonna be the villain's bank. We have this might be the illumination theater, which they're gonna have meet and greets at, unless that's around the corner. We have another thing here, looks like cool windows. And then we have the cupcake, which was just installed. That's gonna be for the Bake My Day cupcake shop. When it comes to Villain Con, there's not much of anything that's new that they've announced. No opening date quite yet. They announced that the Evil Stuff Inc. is gonna be the, um, the, the gift shop as you get out of the attraction. They also put out a new poster and it shows you what the blasters are gonna look like for the attraction. Um, we'll keep you posted as more information comes out. As you can see, we have a couple posters that are partially uncovered here. But now we're making our way down this side and you can see the giant cupcake with the minion up there staring. Um, that's gonna be the Bake My Day. And it looks like Minion's got a little turret coming out. And the theater might actually be in the side over here. That might be where the meet and greets are. But lots of facade work's being done over here, more brickwork, and it looks amazing over here. These posters weren't covered before. This one's now po um, peeking out. It says live at Villain Con. That's all we could see text-wise for that poster. Everything else is the same as the last time we were here. And this attraction is looking amazing. It's getting ready to open very soon. They've been testing it, commissioning it. And I can't wait to uh, hop into this. I love this uh, already, what it, what it looks like from the outside. So basically our announcement yesterday was that um, this whole area is going to be called Minion Land. They're, um, the whole area... It's, it's going to be a mini themed land in the park, so it's like its own little part out of the park. And I really like that they're um, making it its own thing. So everything's very cohesive and it flows together with the current minion attraction that we have already. So there's going to be a, a minion land marquee featuring like 22 minions as you enter the area. That's going to be really neat. We don't have any signs of that installed yet, um, but that will be soon. And of course the cafe is going to be um, heavily immersive themed theming around the cafe so I'm excited for that um there's gonna be over 20 different menu items and once um during the press release yesterday we did get a photo of uh probably about eight of the items I'd say seven or eight of them the food looks really great and it looks um definitely well themed as well so there's gonna be three different themed areas inside the cafe we're gonna have based off of some of the minions Kevin Stewart Bob and then Otto which I believe is the uh, stuffed toy so we're gonna have the kitchen where guests get a glimpse of the um what the minions use to make the food. Then we're gonna have the break room and they can uh, hang on the office safety tips um, where the minions break from all the hard work. We got the dining room. So it's basically like Gru's house. And it's, yeah. it's um, pretty cool. And there's, there's a lot of cool theming that's gonna be in the cafe. And um, they have a lot of cool dishes. Some of them that were announced yesterday were Otto's noodle bowl, Agnes's honeymoon soup, they have Carl's crispy cauliflower, which is a vegan offering, one of the many that they're gonna have. Um, we got uh, handhelds such as the steak and cheese ray sandwich. We got desserts like Bob's teddy bear chocolate cream puff. And then we got the kids menu that they're going to have. Um, so they're going to have items like mini boss mega melt and a lot of other things. And um, something else that they announced is that the cafe will have an express menu item, like uh, a section. So if you don't want to dine in, you can just pick up food at the window and you won't have to wait for that. You can just get your food right away. There is going to be a limited menu for that. There's going to be the uh, the cupcake shop, which I showed you guys, Bake My Day. Um, the giant cupcake on top, you cannot miss it. And um, in that shop, they're going to have a um, selection of sweet treats, cupcakes, mac macarons, s'mores, and more. And uh, Minions inspired merchandise. So you can get plush drinkware, um, accessories, keychains. Pop bananas, they're going to be like the um, popcorn stand that we showed you guys. Um, they're gonna have banana flavored popcorn, so that's cool, and they're gonna have the popcorn buckets, including some of the popcorn buckets we've already seen that are released. They're gonna have the freeze ray pops. Um, that's gonna be a really cool themed uh, treat. They're gonna have cool exclusive drinks over there as well. 
and um, there's gonna be more murals photo ops in the land and it's gonna be really neat um, another thing the last thing they're gonna have is the illumination theater which I kind of mentioned before um, that's gonna have uh, character meet and greets so you can meet like a uh, Gru, you meet some of the minions um, you can meet characters from Sing it's like the, the pigs and the gorilla characters I don't remember their names but they're gonna be at the meet and greets as well so definitely a lot of cool illumination characters that you can meet and I think it's, it's a really neat addition to the park and I can't wait to see how well themed it is as well I think it's really cool right now we're heading to islands we got 40 minutes till the park closes and it looks like it's crazy storms going on so probably no Velocicoaster or Hagrid tonight we'll start to show you some updates around we'll probably do a couple rides too a lot of people are leaving the park probably because the weather rolling in um, up until May 26th they have a pass holder entrance um, from open from uh, 10 o'clock to 2 p.m. And we have the Palace Hunter Lounge open at Islands Adventure every day from 12 to 4. And that's where you can get your Jurassic Park magnet. We already picked that up last time we were here. So we made sure to get that. Um, and you can check out that, what it looks like in our last video. About to head into the park. Um, we do have an attraction that's closing for like one day just for a quick refurbishment. We'll talk about that later. We still have construction walls over here in Seuss. Um, these construction walls are um, just uh, part of the refurbishment they're doing. I think it's like the fountain and some of the play areas there. Lost Continent, we're checking in on it right now. We were here um, last time, last Tuesday, for Poseidon's Fury. Some of the last showings of that uh, day, we did Poseidon's Fury five times on Tuesday. Um, now it's permanently closed. They're going to be um, replacing maybe this whole land, but at least Poseidon's Fury. And surprisingly, they have not um, put construction walls around this attraction yet. They have removed some of the elements going on around this area though. We're going to show you guys what they've removed. To start, the little sign here that shows about Poseidon's Fury, the water, they've turned it off. This is actually really sad to look at. Um, they've also taken out the signage here and it, they've uh, ripped off the entrance. I like how they still have the facade up. It's a great photo op and it looks really nice around the park without construction walls. They've turned off the water though. A lot of the water in the uh, outside portion starting to drain. They have the fog still on. But once again, no water. All the water here in the side of the attraction is also drained. There used to be a little fountain over there that was really cool. It's all drained, so it kind of stinks to see that. I do like how the facade's still standing, though. We also have a little construction wall here at the exit of the attraction. They could, took out most of the queuing strings and stuff, and we also have a construction wall here at the entrance, the old entrance of the building. We're not sure if Mythos is eventually going to close, but what we do know is that they have kind of restocked in the Poseidon's Fury shirts. We still have some in stock. They keep restocking them every now and then. They'll probably run out soon though. Next, we're going to show you another cool area in the Lost Continent. Nothing has changed with the All House Eve Boutique. And we have uh, construction walls in front of the old Sinbad entrance. But if you head by the bathrooms over here, you can check out the old Sinbad area. It's a cool little um, area of the park. And it's not roped off either. So you can just walk back here. They have a little doggy pot area. So you can walk your dog like a service dog. And I think that's why it hasn't been roped off. But yeah, it's just the old area over here and it's really cool the fountain over here looks purple last time we saw it was at night with some lighting but i don't remember it being purple so that's interesting obviously velocicoaster is closed right now same with hagrid's um due to the weather um because we're probably not going to go to the castle we're going to show you guys an update over here the hogwarts castle will be closing um temporarily just for one day on june 8th as it gets a small minor refurbishment it'll be open probably in the ninth. so they're just fixing something and this video is going to be posted way after that anyway, so make sure you're staying tuned on my social media pages for updates like that. As you can see, Velocicoaster is currently closed because of the giant storm, which is kind of hard to see right now, but lots of clouds in the air. These outdoor dining benches in front of Burger Diggs look pretty new, so I like to see little upgrades around the park like that. The park's definitely clearing out for the weather. We might just do Spider-Man or something. Most of the rides are closed right now. It looks like they've also got new outdoor benches and seating over in this part of the park. It looks like it continues throughout the whole Jurassic Park land. Like I mentioned earlier about the press release, we're going to have some exclusive menu items over here for Jurassic Park's 30th anniversary. So definitely check out the menus here and at Burger Digs. And of course, if you're in California, there's also going to be exclusive items in that coast as well. One of the rides we could do right now is Skull Island. We're probably not going to hop in right now though. But this is one of the rides you could do with the weather delay. We were actually at Aquatica earlier today, so we already got our fair share of like water rides. Um, we won't be doing that, and we can't because it's down for weather. But yeah, Toon Lagoon had some construction walls up recently. I think they're actually gone, so we'll get a closer look at that. 
Yeah, so recently they redid the, the pavement here by the, the planter and they uh, had a construction wall here which is now gone as you can see the floor looks really great and um, we're about to head over Misha at the Olive um, just recently reopened and at the Betty Boop shop is where the password lounge is where you can get that Jurassic Park magnet until the 26th pretty much the same stuff inside the shop as the old password lounge is only open from 12 to 4 though we got a, a minute and a half before Spider-Man closes and we're rushing over there to see if we can do it right before they close and we just made it over here just made it in a couple seconds before it closed. And it says 25 minute wait, so there's a lot of people out here in line. We're from the last in the queue, about to hop on. Yeah, the queue's empty, it's really nice. Yeah. So we just got out of Spider-Man. There wasn't too long of a wait, we got some empty queue photos. And of course we had a really good ride on Spider-Man. Um, we got drenched though, like, Super wet with the water feature on the ride. It's crazy. Um, and then, other than that, like the, the movement of the vehicle feels a little off, but it was a pretty good ride through. So over here, we um, have a new snack stand, somewhat new. Um, we've had it for like almost a month now. We got some cool stuff um, on the menu. And then the shards that are over here have actually been uncovered. So this whole area is not under construction walls right now. Over here by the lagoon, we found some weird device on a table. Um, that's not normal, I don't know what that is. It might have been set up for a private event, but um, yeah, it's just chilling. The clouds are crazy looking. We got a cool mix of a sunset in there, but it's covered by the clouds, a little pink going on. It looks like the storm's barely passing us. It's got a weird grayish tone as well. Weird tone, I think it's the undertone from the uh, sunset. Since there's not much else to do here today, we're probably gonna be heading out in a few minutes. Um, you see it's stormy weather and the park is closed. So we're gonna be on our way out. It looks like they're doing a Marvel dining experience. Uh, Spider-Man's doing meet and greets in the cafe, so it's pretty neat. The lagoon looks crazy with these clouds. Well, if I add someone on snap. So yeah, we're heading out. The storms are rolling in. Yeah, so now we're heading out of Universal. Um, it's starting to rain. That's going to be it for today's video. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more of my content, definitely check out my social media pages. That's going to be on Twitter, at Ethan Hershaft on Instagram at Ethan Hershaft and at Florida Theme Park Picks. Also on TikTok at Ethan Hershaft. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.